in them? I am. It'll be the concert of the year. Fly? 50 bucks. Come on, Fly. It'll be worth every cent. I know, but... If you're short, we'll lend it to you. Yeah, it'll take me at least a month to pay her back. Good, it's settled then. What about Perry? Kronos is one of her favourite bands. No way would she miss this. So when did you decide this? When I realised I was sick of having no money. You have an edge. Being a waiter. What's the big deal? You take people's orders, and then you bring them what they asked for. How hard is that? Yeah, but... You have to be polite and friendly. And what, you're saying I'm not? No, I'm not saying that. No, but you're thinking it, aren't you? Come on, Edge, you've got to admit, people's skills aren't your greatest strength. What is it with you two? It's not like I'm applying to join the diplomatic service. <laughs> it's coffees and cakes at a cafe. It's a no-brainer. That's her? That's her. What's her name? Perry. Perry Law. What do you think? Good. Very good. Do you want me to go and talk to her? I think you should. Perry? Hi, Perry. I'm Lucy Morgan. I'm very pleased to meet you. Hi. <laughs> I know this is a little weird, me coming up to you out of the blue like this, but um, we were hoping that we could meet with you. We? Yes, my business partner and I, we run a modelling agency. But I'm not a model. No, no, not yet, you're not. I don't understand. What are you... <laughs> Look, it's best that we don't discuss it here on the beach. We need to take some time to explain things properly, so, um... Tomorrow? I'm at school tomorrow. After school's fine. That's fine. Just here. Take that card, give us a call on one of those numbers, and uh, we'll arrange to come pick you up. And get your parents to give us a call too. We're more than happy to chat to them about it. Look, all I'm saying is that a few simple tips will make the difference between being a really top waiter and a not so really top waiter. Exactly. But I don't want to be a top waiter. Of course you do. No, I don't. Then why did you take the job as a waiter? It's a couple of afternoons a week. I just want to be a waiter. I don't want to make a career out of it. OK, cool. I can understand that, but you still got to know what to do. I know what to do. All right, then show us. What? Pretend we're the customers, you're the waiter. Show us what you do. <laughs> Listen, guys. Come on, it'll take five minutes. You might pick up some pointers. Well? Well, what? What do you want? I haven't decided yet. Well, why not? Because I'm still reading the menu. Well, hurry up. Rule number one, timing is everything. If I need time to read the menu, then you shouldn't rush me. Ask him. What do you want? I haven't decided yet either. Oh, you guys are hopeless. What is the point of trying to practice being a waiter with a couple of jerks who don't even know what they want to order? Rule number two. Number two. The customer is always right, no matter how slow or stupid they are. No one's this stupid. Don't believe it. Any of you seen Beck around? Yeah, she's upstairs. Thanks. Hey, Perry, help us out a sec. Come and order a coffee. I don't drink coffee. Sorry. <laughs> Good. She doesn't drink coffee, you guys don't know what to order? I think that pretty much wraps it up then. As a matter of fact, no. Beck, it's late in our shopping tonight. Wanna come? Can't. It's my turn to cook dinner. Can't you swap with someone? No point. I've already blown my allowance for this month anyway. What did you spend it all on? I haven't got that much to spend. And not all of us have got parents with buckets of money like yours. Sorry. Point taken. Anyway, my parents aren't that rich. Not like Bill Gates, maybe. But compared to the rest of us. Have you heard of a place called Bling Model Agency? Yeah. They supply heaps of models for um, surf mag ads. Why? No reason. Just saw the name. You thinking of getting some modelling work? Me? No way. Not my scene. Hey, Perry, I need to know numbers for the coroner's tickets. Are you coming? Am I what? I'll go get some cash out from the bank when I go to the shops. Right. I'm picking up the tickets on Friday. Cool. Will we rock or will we rock? <laughs> This is the last one. Must be my lucky day. Hmm. Looks like your luck's just run out. Pardon? I'm sorry, but your credit card's been declined. It can't be. Can you try again, please? I already did. Twice. So, Jilly, you're the customer, right? Right. And I'm the waiter about to approach you for your order, right? Right. So, 
The first rule of waiting is to be proactive. I thought you said the first rule of waiting was timing is everything. What? Yeah, it's just correct. Before, you're saying the first rule is timing is everything, and now it's be proactive. You can't have two first rules. So which is it? Let's not get technical, OK? Both rules are important. It's your party. Good afternoon, madam. What sort of customer do you want me to be? Sorry? Well, do you want me to be a cranky customer or a friendly customer or a customer in a hurry or what? Look, it doesn't matter, all right? Just a normal, everyday customer is fine. No, mm, uh, Jill has got a point. No two customers are the same. Maybe that could be rule number two. No, rule number two is the customer is always right. How many rules are there? Listen, please, let's not get bogged down, OK? Jilly, you are a normal, friendly customer with plenty of time, OK? Fine. So, here we go. Good afternoon, madam. What type of coffee can I get for you today? Espresso, cappuccino, latte, macchiato? Excuse me, um, the point of all this is what exactly? The point is that I'm being proactive. I'm saying hello, I'm being friendly, I'm offering her a choice. What if I wanted tea? What? Well, you gave me a choice of coffee, but you didn't mention tea. Why should I mention anything about tea? This is a coffee place. All coffee places serve tea. Since when? Since forever. Okay, so you just list all the coffees and then you add tea at the end. All the teas? What do you mean? Okay, we got English breakfast, Earl Grey, Darjeeling. Hey. And then you got all the herbals like peppermint. Hey! The general term tea will be enough, all right? All right. Listen, guys, I got the picture, but I think I can handle the job. Oh, so that's what this is all about. Have you got a job? Yeah. Two afternoons a week. Oh, that's terrific. Good on you. Thanks. Just don't forget the real rule number one. Which is? Check it with Deb and Simo first. Otherwise, you really could have a problem. Two afternoons a week. Two hours on Tuesday, same on Thursdays. And yeah, what about the training you'll miss? I'll do an extra hour in the mornings. That's four days a week. That's a pretty big load. I can manage it. And if you don't? I will. OK, go for it. Cool. Thanks. Simone, do you think you're doing the right thing? I can't see a problem with it. Well, it's not just his surfing that'll be affected. What about his schoolwork? It's only just scraping through as it is. Deb, think about it. How long do you think the job will last? Do you think you'll bomb out? I'll give him a week. Two at the outside. I mean, Edge, a waiter. It's a train wreck waiting to happen. So there's 25 and I'll have the other 25 for you next week. Don't you forget. I promise. And uh, this is for me and my share of flies ticket. You don't have to do this, you know. I can give it a miss. No, stop it. You're coming. There's nothing more to say. Correct. Thanks. 30 big ones. It's not 30, it's 50. Is it? I told you that. Can I give you the other 20 next week? Do I have a choice? Oh. Thanks. Hey, how'd you go to Simo? No worries. Really? At least he trusts me. Even if some people around here think I'm a total klutz. Um, excuse me, but what are we talking about here? Edge has got a job. Yeah? As a waiter. A waiter? Have you got a problem with that? No, no, it's just that I'd never picked you as the waiter type, exactly. Oh, well, stand by to be surprised. Uh, does that mean you can give me the money for the Cronus concert? I can give you 20 now and the rest later after I get paid on Thursday night, right? You better. Can you ask Perry for hers too? Sure thing. Thanks. But, Dad, how could you close the account without telling me? Do you have any idea how embarrassing it was? I do budget, Dad. I budget all the time. OK, I'll budget my budget. So when do I get my card back? This is so unfair. Can I speak to Mum, please? Uh, Anna needs to know if you're in for the concert. And also, dinner's ready. Thanks, Edge. No problems, Perry. start this job anyway? This afternoon after school. Which cafe? No oh, I'm telling you. Oh, we'll be first customers. Yeah, get you this first day now. I'm not nervous. Hey, and if either of you turn up, I'll tip a whole tray of drinks over your head, I promise. There will be no surfing until the swimming's done! There's in town or out of it. Don't you give up? On your marks! Well, just tell us roughly. Alright, over there. Where? Get set! That way. Go! Excuse me, is this a protest movement or what? 
You think we've been had? We've been had. Ready when you are, Deb. Go! Okay, guys, how many points are we going to give Anna for that wave? Five. Dad, wait. Maybe six. No, you're both wrong. Seven. Okay? She milked the wave all the way to the beach. Got every turn out of the slot wave that she could. Okay, more waves, more points, she wins the heat. You guys have to learn what the judges are looking for if you want to win heats. All right, let's change over. Get out there. Great stuff, guys. Hey, Anna. Look. Sorry, I don't think I'm going to be able to go to the concert after all. I thought you were a big fan. I am. It's just that I have two assignments due next Monday and I'm way behind. Can't you get an extension? I already tried. No chance. I'm really sorry, Perry. I'm half as sorry as I am. Come on, Perry, let's go. I don't get it. Perry's a mad Chronos fan. I'm just telling you what you said. Uh, since when does Perry put an assignment before a concert anyway? Maybe it's not an assignment. Well, then why would she say that? Then? I heard her speaking to her dad on the phone yesterday. It sounds like her allowance has been cut off. What? But her family's loaded, aren't they? I don't know. Maybe she racked up a huge bill and got busted for it. I don't know. I might have heard her wrong. But, uh, excuse me for now, kiddies, because i got a job to get to. Sure you don't want any friendly support? Don't even think about it. Where is Perry today? Why didn't she come home with her? Maybe she's going to get a job too. Perry, work. What's so weird about that? Uh, it'll never happen. Not in our lifetime. Trust me. Hi. You're all glammed up. Someone special? No such luck. Just meeting some people in Manly. What about training? Look, if Simo asks, you haven't seen me, OK? I'll square it with him later. Listen, about the Kronos concert. If it's a money thing, I can ask my parents. I'm sure they won't mind. Why should money be a problem? Hey! I've got smoke in my eye. You've also got a very big mouth. Do you mind? Get out, will you? In future, I'd appreciate it if you kept your nose out of my life. What do I do? For your information, my family isn't punishing me for racking up a debt, and you should be spreading rumours from phone calls you overheard and know nothing about. Listen, Perry! Perry, we're on Marina. Glad you could make it. Can I get you anything? Water, orange juice? Uh, I'm fine, thanks. Suppose you're wondering what this is all about. Yeah, kinda. What this is all about, young Perry Law, is the opportunity of a lifetime. And we do mean a lifetime. Our agency represents models engaged in a whole range of advertising, fashion, but we specialise in sports, especially surfing. One of our clients is about to launch a whole range of surf gear. It's going to be very hip and it's going to go global. Great. But what's this got to do with me? Well, the company is looking for the right girl to be the face of these products. There's a lot of money to be made by whoever's chosen. But she can't just be a model has to be a real surfer. Someone who looks good, but has genuine credibility about it. Someone like you. Wow. <laughs> now, obviously, the company will make the final decision, but we think you've got everything they're looking for. So we'd like to take some test shots of you to send to them. But I don't know anything about modelling. Do I get any training or stuff? Don't worry about training. You'll take to it like a duck to water. OK. So when would you want to take these shots? In about five minutes. Now? Yeah. It only take an hour. Come on, Perry. Let's show them what you can do. Isn't she training with the others? No, that's the oh. problem. You tried a mobile. Yeah, not answering. That's it, come on. 
Maybe she's gone to Edge's cafe to give him some moral support. Somehow I think that's the last thing she'd be doing. How do you think he's going to go? Edge might surprise us all. Hope so. Where on earth is she? What's this? Your contract. Obviously you need to get your parents to take a look at it and your solicitor. Well, what does it say? It says, if you're chosen, which we have every confidence you will be, the company has exclusive rights to your services for the next year. The whole year? Uh -huh. With an option for a second year. But I'm already on a contract this year. With Solar Blue at the Surf Academy. We can fix that. How? <laughs> we have very good lawyers, Perry. It's easy to break a contract, you just have to know how. But what about surfing? Oh, there'll be weekends, days off. But I'm training for the pro circuit, the world tour. Perry, come over here. I want to show you something. Look at it. The world is full of surfers. There's more wannabes, could have beans, might have beans, and has beans than I've had hot breakfasts. Sure, surfing's fun, but a career. One injury, one bad wipeout. It's all over. Remember, Perry, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. In just one year, you will earn enough to really set yourself up. But Solar Blue have been very good to me. Solar Blue have been supporting you because you might be valuable to their business. What do you think's going to happen at the end of the year if you don't win? I don't know. I, I haven't thought that far ahead. That's where you're going to end up, Perry. Out there, with all the other losers. And that would be a terrible shame. You have the face of today. Timing is everything, Perry. Right now, the timing is perfect. And it won't come again. The face of today can soon become the face of yesterday. Another face in the crowd, just like them. We're going to need a decision, Perry. By five o'clock tomorrow. Oh, you didn't drink coffee. Edge, what are you doing here? Why are you dressed like that? It's an apron. Waiters usually wear them. You, a waiter. Why is it that no one believes I can actually take someone's order and then give it to them? Listen, I'm sorry for giving you an earful before in the bathroom. Is it true? Your family's got money problems? Looks that way. Cash flow, Dad reckons. We've all got to tighten up for the next few months. Bad luck. What's that? Choice. A scary one. I've got 24 hours to make it. Sounds a tough call. What do you do when you've got a really difficult decision to make? What else? I take the board out. Go surfing? No. I just sit out behind the brake, don't think, don't do anything. Just wait for the light to come on. Does it work? Every time. Um, are you going to order something or what? No, I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm doing here. I just needed somewhere to sit and think. OK, then. I'll see you at home. Hey, this job, does it pay much? Ten bucks an hour plus tips. It's not bad. There's another one going. If you're interested, I can speak to the manager. Me, a waitress. Can you really imagine it? Probably not. Thanks for the thought, though. Yeah. No worries. See ya. Yeah. Credit card working? I wish. Listen, this jacket I was looking at, any chance I could get that on layby? Yeah, sure. You just give me a deposit and I'll keep it on hold till you've paid it off. How much is the deposit? 10%. $40? 42, actually. But I'll accept 40. Thanks. I'll think about it. Don't wait too long. It's the only one we have. How's the surf? Better than it looks. Where's Perry? She's still out there. She's not going to get any waves out there. She's too far out. I hope Perry's all right. I don't know. She was pretty quiet at school today. She's all right. She's just getting a bit of space. Perry, 
It's great to see you. Right on time. Mary, yeah, you brought the contract? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I did. Did you show it to anybody, parents, solicitor? Uh, well, no, actually. See, okay, that's I great, Perry. I thought about it a lot, and I really appreciate the offer. It's a fantastic opportunity, and I Perry, can't... before you go on, um, I'm afraid we've got a bit of bad news. You do? We sent your photos to the company, and they were very impressed. Very impressed. They thought you looked wonderful, didn't they, Lucy? Wonderful. But, uh, well, the fact is, they've chosen another girl. Oh. Uh. She's from the Gold Coast, like you. Really? You must be very disappointed. We're very sorry. But it was entirely out of our hands. We had no say in it. None at all. Oh, well. Them's the brakes, huh? Them's the brakes. But look, here are your uh, shots. Uh, hang on to them. Might be useful. Thanks. So she's the face of today? I don't know, Perry. She is the face of tomorrow. Yes, the company believes that the future is far more important than the present. Time is everything, Perry. First law of the universe. I called that cafe, the one that Edge is working at. And? The manager was very impressed. He said Edge was polite and skillful, a model employee. You were talking about the same Edge? He said the customers love him. Edge? That's what he said. Right, well, I think we need to do some first-hand research on this one. Edge. There you go, man. Excuse me, waiter. Yes, sir. How can I help you? I'll have a cappuccino, thanks. Same here. Lemon tea, please. A latte. Hot chocolate. Flat white. Mochaccino, thanks, mate. I'll have a skinny latte, but with light milk rather than skim milk, and in a glass rather than a cup. If that's OK. Certainly, sir. Anything else? Can you remember all that? Aren't you going to write it down? No need. My colleague here has it all under control. Perry? Sorry. I was going to tell you first, honest. But they needed someone to start straight away. Is there anything else we should know? Is this place owned by a rival surf company? Definitely not. All right, you better get us our drinks. And can you make sure my coffee is hot? It's on its way. Thanks. And then, uh, if it's not too late, I'd love to come to the Chronos concert. I have to pay you back next week, though. Not a problem. Thanks. Oh, miss. How can I help you? I'm picking up a birthday cake for my daughter under the name of Barton. Sure, I'll go get it. OK, don't hurry. We're going to sit down and have something to drink. A cappuccino for me and iced tea for Angela. Nice jacket. Yeah, we got the last one in the shop. Weren't we lucky? Yep. Timing is everything. <laughs>